Eric Carl, um, the very busy spider. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. There she is. There's the start of her web. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want some grass? Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ba, ba, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider did not answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pink. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. So you can see her web's getting bigger and bigger. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. So there's her finished web. It's very large. cock a doodle doo crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. So there she is, and she's got a fly. Who, who, asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. So there she is sleeping. And there's her web in the dark. So I have a quick little web craft for us. So you can start with some popsicle sticks. So you'll need three popsicle sticks or you can use the larger craft sticks. And I just glued them into kind of like a snowflake pattern, but um, intersect the three sticks in the center and space them out evenly so you can make the start of your web. So I'm going to use the craft sticks, they're a little larger, and I've colored them with a permanent marker. Uh, you could also paint them if you want. The other thing that you need is some yarn. So I have used some orange and black yarn. And basically just going to start my web by tying the first piece of string in a knot around the center of my sticks so that I can get my web started. So I'll just tie that. And just trim the end off there. And then you can just go through and wrap your string around your sticks. So I've just taken the string, wrap it around one, loop it behind, wrap it around, loop it behind, wrap it around, loop it behind, wrap it around, loop it behind. So if you want to make a traditional web that just loops in a pattern. You can do that or you can go zigzag back and forth and make your web as fancy as you want. So then I just wanted to turn and go the other way. So I just looped it around a second time and I'm just going to head back in the other direction. 
So you may need to, if your string is slipping, you may need to wrap it around twice to get it nice and tight so it'll stay where you want it to be. And you just continue along with whatever pattern you've decided to do. <clears throat> if you've decided to do a zigzag, you can just go across your web and go back and forth doing your pattern. So I find the farther out you get, you may need to hold your string while you're looping it so that it's going to stay. So I'm at the outer edge of my craft sticks. I'm just going to finish around. I've got two more sticks on my pattern. There we go. <clears throat> so at the end, what I did is just took this and looped it through part of my web. So it's a smaller piece to do your tying off. Looped it through there and just tied in a knot. And I just did that a couple of times over and over to make a nice knot. You can glue it or tape it if that's easier for you as well. So there's the start of my web. So then every spider web has to have a spider. So here's my smaller one that I made out of popsicle sticks. And I've just made my spider out of pipe cleaner. So spiders always have eight legs. I take my pipe cleaner and I'm just cutting it into four pieces. And I just started by taking two pieces in an X shape, twisting them together. Then add another one, twist that one on, and then add your fourth one. So in total you'll get eight legs if you use four pieces, two on each side, or one, one on each side, so you'll split them so that your spider has four legs on each side. So each piece is going to give you two legs. And then I'm just going to tuck that into my web. So you can use that as a nice decoration for Halloween. <clears throat>